HelloFresh's contact-free delivery is always convenient, especially this year. So sign up now to get 12 free meals, including free shipping, by going to HelloFresh.com slash TMGW12 and use the code TMGW12. This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Oh, cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, memory heart. See, we're doing this over Zoom, and here's how yeah. you can tell that you're on East Coast, I'm on West Coast, is because yeah. I'm still nursing yeah. my one form of hydration, a big-ass <laughs> iced tea, and you've moved on to cocktail. I have a little vodka water. Uh, yeah, I had to come home for um, a family funeral thing very quickly. Everything's fine, but I am um, incredibly hungover today. Because yeah, that's, that's how we grieve here <laughs> in this family. That's am, that British blood. I am so hungover. I had like three bites. How of, hungover are you? <laughs> I know. I had like I woke up uh, at like noon, had three bites nice. of a Luna bar, and threw up. And it never. <laughs> I never. That never ever oh. happens to me ever. I know. I was just. I was having a bit. We had like the socially distanced thing all day yesterday. Not all day part of the day yesterday and then I got to see my brother for the first time in a year and so just tied one on and like was having trying everything that was offered um so wow I throwing am, up a luna bar oh they're like it's only they're three ingredients dense. it's yeah. only three ingredients it's mostly dates and it did not <gasps> oh and this first date was awful no oh. throwing up a date is like a soft rock it was already, I mean, it's like, it's like a pre-chewed <laughs> granola bar and you eat it. And so it just so was, the true. Wrong, it was all I had next to me. It was the wrong choice. So I'm doing hair of the dog at 6 p.m. here. Uh, and yeah. Things okay. Are, two questions. Okay. Mm-hmm. First of all, did you say that's a vodka water, not a vodka v- soda? Vodka water. I've been okay. drinking some vodka waters lately. Here's, here's my opinion. Go for it. It's first of all, you know, I'm not a big vodka soda person because I'm like, ugh, it just tastes like vodka. Unless it's you like want- a flavored soda. Right. I'm like, this just el- elongates the process that yeah. isn't that desirable to begin right. with. You know, that's how I feel. Yeah. But then doing it vodka just water yeah. feels like it's really just delaying the pro- It just feels like a really long shot. Yeah. Um, it does feel like that. <laughs> My rationale is that like, oh, I'm getting a bit of hydration, hydration. while I'm doing this. And also, it's not uh, delicious. So it's something that you sip a little slower and then I just mm. add more water to it. And so it really Ooh. kind of like, yeah. As someone that needs to take her time today with everything, yes. uh, this is my go-to. Here's the other thing that happened to oh. me. Okay. Oh, wait, go ahead. Do you have a, a second thing? You know me, a follow-up question that's so boring and specific. <laughs> Please, Are, go for it. Your vodka water, is the water a bottled water, if so, with brand, or are you straight up doing, like, Marriott tap? I'm doing tap water. You're it doing is... hotel tap water? What? Yeah. Ho- oh, my God. I am Comfort uh, in tap water? No, it's a Sinesta uh, short and long stay. Uh, Never place. heard of it. It's basically you can have like a vacation rental here. It's like full kitchen, you know, those kind of things that have like the. Oh, full, yeah. I look like I'm in like the utility closet or something, mm-hmm. but this was just the, uh, you know, mirror with the lights that were kind of okay and didn't make me look like an actual Frankenstein sitting at the table. Out How there. is the Sinesta tap water? It's awful. Better than it's Dasani, awful. I bet. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Take that. I also don't like Dasani. I, uh, at the airport, uh, was like I should get a water for this flight. It was only Dasani water available. I in the hate one when store they do that. I went to, and I chose to move on. <laughs> I was like, wow. I didn't realize that I had such an opinion about Dasani, but there's something I don't know what it is. How do Oily. you describe? Yeah, buttery there's is what I was going to say. There's like a it's weird... a mouth feel. There's a full mouth feel. There's something that yeah, slimy. I don't know what it is. Like a Not... buttery Chardonnay, but in a water. Yeah, Hudson News. Get yeah. your shit together. Hey. No one wants Dasani. I'll take a crisp Poland spring and they're even cheaper. Yes. Okay. So. I'm um meanwhile, I'm putting something in the chat to you because I woke up this morning not only just incredibly hungover and feeling, you know, insane. Like dog butt. Like an act like I felt I had the biggest headache ever and I just kept trying to make myself fall back to sleep to get relief from this headache. Mm-hmm. Um I get a text from a number that i don't have in my phone okay uh, should i open this and read it yeah or do you want 
Uh, let me see. Oh, if oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is... <laughs> Y'all, it's a penis. It's a penis. <laughs> okay. Is... Hold on. Two things. Hold on. It says. Hey, sexy. This weekend was amazing. Here's something to remember me by. Winky face. But the winky the face, not emoji. And here's the thing. I get that text first and I look at it, no photo or anything. And I go, uh oh, oh no. Here it comes. Oh no. And then, then we have a white penis. Is that an uncircumcised penis? I've never I seen no, one I IRL. Not, I literally was getting <laughs> myself together to go see my family and have a cup what of coffee. A and this fucking text came in. I was like, and then, I love that they waited. First of all, getting a dick pic at noon on a Monday. On a Monday. Or two, was it a Monday or a Tuesday? Or Tuesday. This is today. This on is a this Tuesday morning. is yeah. aggressive. Uh, it wasn't a three day weekend. So you took no. a whole day before you sent the dick pic. Yeah. Maybe she's moved on. And also then two hours later. You get a no response with a sad face emoji or yeah. a disappointed face emoji. I'd call that one. Yeah. I so, can't believe how long I've been looking at this piece. I know. I, I got to get it is, off my screen. Chip's is, gonna find this months later and be like, what the hell is this? I hate it. <laughs> one, I hate, like, I hate every part of this and I cannot, I try to understand people's like, you know, emotional states when they do things that confuse yeah. me. I can't understand why someone would send a not very impressive picture of a penis to someone that go like to remind them of how cool the weekend was that they had together with this fun friend. Well, and then okay. getting and then getting no response and saying no response? I mean, like I don't know what to do. Wait, but last time, okay. <laughs> I've already said this two has things now happened like to 500 me times twice in the last like 6 months. <laughs> okay, here's here's a something. Three yeah. things. <laughs> <laughs> we have leveled up to three things. Okay. Three things. First of all, did you check the area code? Oh, I have it. I let me uh cuz it's not I my I have a Jersey area code and so it's not the same as my area code. Okay, J that's what I was wondering is if if it was someone no, local. No, it's not like a hometown anything. No. Okay. Um second of all, yeah. It doesn't feel like a joke dick pic because No, it's ser it's like sincere and that's It's the a sincere one and this is how you know because men are such idiots. Part. Yeah. Men are such idiots that like the pic itself for those of you listening, <laughs> let me paint a picture. It's neither the the base of the shaft nor the tip. It's literally like the middle. Yeah. It's like a, <laughs> it's like if a guy took a photo of There's his no belly. Completion. Like, here's my belly. Enjoy. But it's not <laughs> exercised at all here. You uh, got to get full tip or base or something like this is just like incomplete. It's a Los Angeles area code. <gasps> yeah. And my phone has a South Jersey area code. So that doesn't even make sense. OK, well, now here is my third of the three. Am I being pranked? No, last time, remember when I had a dick pic? No, no, when you had a dick pic sent to you. Yep, yeah. We responded with a gif of Larry David saying, pretty, pretty, pretty good from Curb yeah. Your Enthusiasm. Okay. I think you have to, Grace. Okay, I'm going to, well, that's the thing. I was going to ask you for what I should I send. Oh, wait, they had already texted me. Wait, more? Yeah, they just said uh, about <gasps> 45 minutes ago, they texted me. Oh, my God. Me, Guess it wasn't as amazing for you. Dot dot dot. Oh this my god! This person is god. really looking for some validation. Like, what does the person they think they're texting the dick pic to not have a job or any responsibilities? Like, give a girl a day. This is a very insecure dick. That's all I'm gonna say. This is now. What do we respond if now they're I mean, being very needy? I I feel like I want. I don't want to tell them pretty good, but I no, do. No, now no. They've lost that privilege. I think I should send them a Larry David gif. So I'm okay, looking well, at Larry David gifts. There's one oh of him getting all cringy. You can't really see it, but it's like this one yes, here. Yes, that yes, yes. It's a classic Larry yeah. David like uh, like sucking yeah. through the teeth. Should I yep. say anything? All right, I'm gonna respond. <laughs> I'm sending that. I send it. Oh my god. I send it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. Okay, cool, fun. Great. Oh my god. What if he just go? What if he starts calling you? <laughs> 
I well, we'll find out. I'm putting my video back on. We will find okay. out if this person tries to call me. That would be very. I mean, like if that'd you, be aggressive as hell. If the person that was on the receiving end of this dick pic was supposedly enjoying the the, the whatever the kielbasa scrunchy kielbasa <laughs> that you just sent, <laughs> the scrunchy <laughs> kielbasa. I don't think that you need to have a verbal conversation following up anything. I just hit my tooth on the mic. I laughed so hard. Yeah, it looks like someone got a Johnsonville brat, put it put it in their shopping cart, and then accidentally smushed up stuff beside it. By the time you put it on the conveyor, it was like, do you want to get a new brat? This brat got the car wrecked. It looks like, yeah. It looks like like a, a cartoon accordion right yeah. now. Wow. Uh, that yep. is exactly what you want when waking up hungover the morning after a funeral. When, uh, yeah. When I'm literally waking up going, this is the worst hangover I've had in probably the last decade. Oh, Ugh. bing, bing. My phone goes off. It must be my fiance or my friends checking in on me. Oh. <laughs> no. Have yeah. you had anything to eat besides the thrown up Luna bar? Oh, yeah. I went to uh, my dad's house because my parents okay. have both gotten their double dose of the vaccine which hell is hell yeah double yeah. d's yeah so i've um so i went over there and just ate like sh- leftover everything i was like heat up yeah. everything that you have in your refrigerator oh and yeah I would all like those casseroles yeah oh my god yeah. Oh, sorry one quick thing speaking of private parts yeah is i was in hollywood uh a Friday because I was getting a COVID test for a shoot I was doing yesterday and I, w- I drove by and I, h- I had to do a double take uh, at an awning there was a waxing place just called Cooch <laughs> <laughs> it just said, that's all they do it said Cooch waxing studio and I was like at what point does that become like not okay for like kids I mean Cooch is I guess but innocent what if, but like what it if felt that's- uh, like a lot it is a lot. I appreciate things labeled exactly what they are, but Me also, well. what if that's the owner's last name? Oh, and Reginald Cooch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Reginald <laughs> has always been into waxing. <laughs> Old Reggie Cooch. He Old the, Reggie he Cooch. loves the hot wax. Uh, no, I, I went to Hollywood to get this COVID test, and it was one oh, of these Oh, yeah, places. I want to hear about this, uh, this shoot. Yeah, the shoot and everything, too. Well, first I go to get the test because it's a couple days before and it was really easy. Like you have your appointment, you walk up, you do like a QRD code, type in your things, they swap it, you're done. But I was running late. So I got there the same exact time as someone else. And so Mm -hmm. I'm walking up and I hear someone go giving their name and they just go, it's James Franco. And I look up, but it wasn't. It was an old man. And he immediately (laughs) goes, I go by Jim, Jim Franco. I was just like, this poor man probably went by James for so long. And then he got that taken away from him. And now he goes by Jim Franco. And he could feel the gust of wind of everyone snapping their necks to turn and look at and see if it was James Franco. (laughs) Thousand percent. A thousand percent. Quick question. How is your comforter looking these days? Perhaps it's a little worn out, a little uh, lumpy, a little deflated, no longer has the same fluff that it used to. Has it been a hard year? Well, then it's time to refresh with Brooklinen. Brooklinen creates beautiful, high quality bedding and home essentials. The cool thing is, is that they work directly with manufacturers, so you get a fair price. There aren't middlemen that give markups and make it super, super pricey. You get it directly to you. They come in lightweight, all season, and ultra warm to suit every type of sleeper and lifestyle. There's even a weighted comforter option for stress relief, what, what? They also have a variety of materials, including an eco-friendly recycled down alternative, which you know I love. And Brooklyn and comforters pair perfectly with their sheets, pillows, and duvet covers. There's a reason Brooklinen has over 75,000 five-star reviews and counting. And one of them is from me because I have the Brooklinen sheets. And let me tell you, it is like butter. All right. If snuggling with beans doesn't make it hard enough to get out of bed, those sheets make it damn near impossible. So treat yourself to the ultimate comfort with Brooklinen's comforter collection. Go to brooklinen.com and use promo code TMGW to get 25% off with a minimum purchase of a hundred bucks. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N. N-E-N dot com and enter promo code T-M-G-W for 25% off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's brooklyn.com promo code T-M-G-W. I'm telling you, they are the shoot. 
as the world becomes increasingly uncomfortable, we're all looking for as much comfort as we can get. Hence why sports bras and sweatpants are my go-to uh, uniform for my person every single day. One thing, though, that you can always count on is how comfortable Purple Mattress is. That's because Purple is comfort reinvented. Only Purple has the grid, a stretchy gel material that's amazingly supportive for your back and legs while cushioning your shoulders, necks, and hips, all the spots. I don't know how it does it, but it is absolutely fantastic. It's because of how it's designed. The grid doesn't trap air. Air actually circulates and flows through it, so you'll never overheat. And the grid bounces back as you move and shift, unlike memory foam, which remembers everything that's why memory foam has craters and divots and I actually have the harmony pillow from uh, purple it's got purple it's with purple hex so you get total head and neck support and absolute airflow so you're always on the cool side of the pillow which is what I love the temperature regulation that happens is absolutely wonderful and right now you guys can try purple mattress risk-free with free shipping and returns financing is available too Purple really is comfort for an uncomfortable world right now. You can get 10% off any order. (laughs) Pardon me. My brain got excited. My mouth couldn't keep up. You can get 10% off any order of $200 or more. Go to purple.com slash TMGW10 and use promo code TMGW10. That's purple.com slash TMGW10. Promo code TMGW10 for 10% off any order of $200 or more. Purple.com slash TMGW10. Promo code TMGW10. Terms apply. Oh, no, that is so I did funny. this shoe. I told you about, uh, yeah. we did two days of it. There's a show called Could You Survive the Movies? Uh, yes. It's like a YouTube original and they take a movie and then like very, the host like very, sciences it out, you know? Yeah. So if he's doing like, could you survive Die Hard? He's, you know, playing uh, the lead character. Yeah. Which I just forgot the name. Um <laughs> But so he was doing Titanic and they asked me to be Rose. Uh, my from the ste- Titanic. I told my I told my family, my stepmom cannot wait to see you <laughs> as Kate Winslet. <laughs> Maureen, your number one fan is oh. like she has a new reason to love you even more. Uh, oh, I she love can- her. She's like, and the is she gonna have like this curls and everything? And she's gonna <laughs> yes, do that. She's gonna do the like out by the edge of the ship. <laughs> and I was like, I think so. And she was just so uh, clumped about all. No, of we it. we filmed it the first two days, and then there was a pickup shoot last night. We filmed it the first two on the Queen Mary, like in Long Beach, like a so massive cool. from back in the day ship that is supposedly very haunted. Oh yeah, I believe that. Like there's a room they don't even rent out because like people were waking up with scratches because it's a hotel now. People were waking up with scratches from yes. ghost. the ghost, the ghost. <laughs> so but what's so scary, too, is like I'm wearing these like flowy dresses, like, yeah. you know, the like kind of nightgowny dress she's in at the end. And three times I turned a corner and someone went, oh, <laughs> <'Cause they laughs> yeah. it was a ghost. <laughs> that is horrifying yeah if i already know that this is the most haunted thing ever and then i see anything ethereal even come near me yes i'm out (laughs) base and with my like type of grace it was just (laughs) rough no but it was so funny we did the titanic like i'm flying at the edge of the boat yeah the daytime and they were drone there's like a drone going and just a family staring at us like it was the most expensive engagement photos of all time (laughs) I mean, what do you assume? If you see that, what do you assume? You're like, the Queen Mary is closed. Who are these uh, millionaires yeah. <laughs> yeah, who are obsessed taking, with the Titanic? They're but taking so, the cheesiest photos. Last night was the water scene. Like, So you're actually in the water. Because uh, that's why I assume, you know, yeah, that's the part that you have to figure out scientifically how you would figure well, it out. Well, there's all this stuff of like, if you jumped off the boat, would you mm. die from impact? Or would you, you know, all this stuff. Wow. But so we... It was at a giant pool at like um, USC. Well, I don't know. Southern okay. California, Cal State. One of those colleges. Got here. it. Got it. Yeah. I don't know. But so what they did is we did it in the pool and they like put black curtains everywhere. So it looked like the night sky. And I had to like be on this door. <laughs> but what but like was wet. But what's crazy is it got really cold last night. Yeah. And s- so the whole crew was wearing like puffy jackets and hats. And I was in a night, a wet nightgown on this door. Grace, Ooh. I was on it for like 45 minutes. I couldn't feel my left foot my whole drive home. Oh my 
my god isn't that crazy and they were like super attentive but i was like yeah. i i just don't even want to try to get off this door that's floating yeah. in the middle of the pool <laughs> And so I couldn't feel my foot and I was just, wow. here's what's crazy though. It's because here's part of the science they did for the episode Yeah, is hypothermia, hypothermia, mm-hmm. where you get so cold. Yeah. If you get so cold in water that like one reason why people die is because it actually hurts more to get out because <gasps> the water starts feeling warm. Oh, that, that your cool? body, yeah, that your body like, uh, or like associates it differently. But yeah. then, so you're driving home and you can't feel your foot. I can't feel my foot. <laughs> I couldn't feel my foot and on the way uh, leaving I stopped because they were going to break for lunch and I was like I'll take that to go I couldn't feel my foot (laughs) as I'm driving and I'm eating a veggie sausage with my hand and I drop it (laughs) and then I'm searching on the floorboard for (laughs) for this veggie kielbasa and I'm like if I (laughs) wreck and they're like what happened I'll be like well my foot was numb and I dropped my sausage (laughs) On the 405. I was at Cal State at the pool, (laughs) and my foot got cold. I was sitting on a door for six hours, and I dropped dropped my sausage. sausage. Not a euphemism. So, but so funny. But we got her done. So very cool. Do you know when (laughs) that's like coming out at all? I have no clue. I don't even know if I was allowed to talk about it just then. (laughs) (laughs) It's all fun. I can't wait. I can't wait to see. just being so, I mean, everything is so surreal in quarantine yeah. and pandemic, especially like I haven't really worked on a set, let, like anything. So it must have been hilariously confusing, surreal, uh-huh. all of it. Totally. It was a good time, though. But damn, uh, I uh, I had another exciting thing happen today. Go ahead. <clears throat> so the lady who lives beside me. Yes. You've seen her general vibe. Yeah, her front yard um, <laughs> looks like. Uh, how do I say this? It's like um, huh. it's like if really tacky fairies live there. Like everything <laughs> is <laughs> there's just stuff. It's there's just stuff everywhere. Like there's no yard. It's just yeah. stuff everywhere. It's like if the real fairies of Florida live yeah. there. Yeah, there's you know, just where- like orbs, and then there's like hanging chimes, kind of. But everything's also been placed and then never touched again it's all kind of covered in dust and debris and yes, so there's a bit of a creepy hauntedness to it which and she's a piano teacher so she she plays the piano late at night okay i is, thought you said she was a witch and a piano teacher i mean i'm not i'm not <laughs> who knows you know <laughs> discounting that but no it's one of those yards where i'm like how do you spend so much time in it yeah with what looks like a purpose. Yeah. And yet it, it looks more disorganized than any yard I've ever seen. Yeah. It's like a hoarders, but of like garden gnomes and stuff. <gasps> oh, they should have hoarders, like horticulture. Ah. Hoarders. Yeah. There's a lot. Anyway. Yeah. There's just a lot going on. It gives me a little bit of anxiety when I walk past it, even though I know it's purposely supposed she to knows. be. She knows. Yeah. She like, knows where stress, everything goes. Stress free. Yeah. But anyway, so she has taken to. Um, instead of just like getting rid of her weeds and leaves and stuff, burning them, (laughs) which you have to have a permit to do. Oh yeah. Cause that, that's not like comp, is that composting? I don't know what composting is. No, composting is is like where you're putting soil on top of things and it's like helping to, um, it decompose quicker. Uh, yeah. She's just doing trash fires. She's just shedding shit on fire, which it feels very... (laughs) Very like rednecks, like where I grew up, right? So she's doing that. And the problem is, is that inside my house, it smells like a barbecue pit. From that? From that. Whoa. Like just burning leaves for hours. So uh, like one day, a couple months ago, I went outside and I could hear my landlord who lives behind me talking to her and being like, it smells really bad. And her being like, oh yeah, I'm just getting rid of the leaves. And he was, (laughs) and he was like, you can use our are um you know the like the yard trimmings trash can yeah yeah the green one he was you like you have a specific you- trash can for all of your tree trimmings and outdoor shenanigans yes. yeah he was like you can use ours we don't have anything in it she was like now nah, just do this and i could <laughs> tell he was pissed and i was like like chip came home a day later and was like you you smell like a campfire wow yeah it's really bad so anyway today i smelled her doing it i was like well fuck in my life and i went and i walked beans and i came back and a fire truck was there <gasps> so they either caught on to this fire or someone someone has a call right you think your landlord well, called i texted my landlord <gasps> and i said lol 
there's a fire <laughs> truck at old neighbor's house. Do you we know just- anything? Do you know Which anything is, about that? Not what I texted Elliot when our neighbor uh, lit their garage on fire. Well, that was an actual emergency. Yeah, this was yeah. just annoying. But like it could have caught my shit on fire. That's an old yeah. ass fence. So anyway, and he just sent me back the the Will Smith Fresh Prince like thinking oh, and winking face. So wow. we So we got a full on feud going, y'all. So what happens now? She's been, I guess, warned by the fire company. I don't know. Uh, I think you have to have a permit to burn leaves. I Googled it just so I'd have my facts in case we had an altercation. Does um, she? What if she has a permit and that's why she's doing it? Fuck. Be, I don't know. You know that, uh, that's, we'll think about that part later. But. Yeah. But all I'm just saying is we've got some new drama in the hood. <sighs> okay. Speaking of new drama, I just got a text message from no. um, this phone number. Hold on. I'm gonna okay. Stop Dick pic? Rec- Dick Sausages? Pick. They said lol. Okay. They said lol. Okay. Okay. And that he took now, it strongly. And that ends that entire uh, <laughs> communication, unless he decides that he's still not getting the attention. He what needs. if he sends you a picture of his butthole in like two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> and uh. this doesn't entice you? Uh, no, it doesn't. No. It does. No, I, thank you. But good luck to whoever gave you a South Jersey phone number to throw you off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I learned, okay, maybe we've talked about Ina Garden before in this capacity. I mean, we've definitely talked about her, but I right. don't know. Did you what know capacity? that? Okay, so I was looking at this BuzzFeed uh, article that was like, here are some uh, facts that people say have said on Tumblr that just actually blew my mind, uh, okay. but are so entertaining. So listen to this. Friendly, and maybe you know this already, but I didn't, and it blew my mind. Friendly reminder that Ina Garden, the host of Barefoot Contessa on Food Network, majored in economics and was in charge of the right in charge of writing the budget for the US's nuclear program and drafted policy memos regarding construction of nuclear centrifuges under US President Ford and Carter. Also, she fundraises for Planned Parenthood and supports gay marriage. So yeah, women can budget plan nuclear policy and cook a mean meal. And uh, now you know. Isn't that crazy? Wait, did you fact check this? Yeah, she really so, wrote nuclear budgets? Yeah, so she was, let me go to my uh, Ina Garden Wikipedia page. Uh, yeah, she was a former staff member of the White House Office of Management and Budget. Uh, and she what? also. I know, I know. She also met her husband, Jeffrey, yes. uh, at 15. On a trip to visit her brother at Dartmouth College, Jeffrey served a four-year military tour during Vietnam War, and Ina acquired her pilot certificate. And then after he served, they started traveling to Paris and like were enjoying fine foods and th- shit like that. Yeah, okay, here's is, why I love Ina Garten. I'm, now I know. So amazing. She can have a high power job, yet still know that she finds joy in cooking yep. and occasionally seeing her husband while hanging out with all our gay friends <laughs> yeah. she's, she's the best i know this made me appreciate her so much yeah that she worked in the white house uh while earning an mba at george washington university and jeffrey worked in the state department completing his graduate studies and then okay. she, yeah then she opened up her store which is right. the thing Barefoot that gave her the show. yeah i would like I would like a lifetime or some type of movie about the life of Ina Garten. I'm fascinated. I mean, she has this um, persona that is very, you know, uh, refined and well to do and a bit. Put but also on. accessible, but also uh, accessible. The button downs. I wore a blue button down all throughout my time in New York. Uh, you did un- love a button down shirt. A male button down. <laughs> t- uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I, I was basically you were doing very Ina, business casual for a while. I was doing Ina Garden cosplay for a while and thinking that's like how I dress fancy. Uh, yeah, she, her life story is so fascinating to me. Yeah, now, if you were going to write an Ina Garden film or if, or if we were going to produce this and be like, look, Food Network, we love mm-hmm. all your food. It's great. But you've got to do something in the narrative space. And we yeah. think the first thing you should do is a made for TV movie about the life of Ina Garten, because letting people know the backstory to these incredible chefs is only going to make them more beloved. 
We should, you I know, mean, this is an entire series that should be pitched. Is the yeah, Valerie Bertinelli was married to fucking Van Halen. That's Eddie great, Van Halen. Great. Like we need all of this. I want to um, learn about everyone. Yeah. If they had these scripted series that were uh, made for TV. Uh, not even a series, just like made for TV movies. Yeah. That were like, I want to see Jada De Laurentiis's rise to fame uh rachel ray of course classic alton brown give me all of them i do think the one we're gonna get pushed back from is bobby flay that one's because, gonna be a bit tough because he has had a little bit of uh lady troubles do you remember his yeah. ex his ex-wife took out a fucking plane <laughs> yes. through manhattan with a banner that said like bobby flay is a cheater yeah, or something so fucking nuts like that that's you have to uh, we're gonna get pushed real, back from bobby well bobby will want to control the narrative of his okay. um storyline but i also think that the world deserves to know <laughs> I, do too. I mean you know alton brown he was a he directed or produced i'm not sure he mm. did music videos he did all of rem's music videos he's really? from athens georgia yeah so he was in like the music video space and was like why i love food why uh, are food shows so not entertaining or creative yeah. and then he went to culinary school that's cool. and then started doing good eats so i could talk and talk but basically what yeah. all i was getting to is yeah. if we were going to be today casting a young ina garten oh, who would that man. be Hi me. Sorry for all you listeners who don't watch Food Network and none of this makes sense. Hi, Chip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but oh, you know, man, there's part of me that wants to do. Um, hold on, let me look it up real quick. Um, Maybe we could even pitch it to be over the top, lifetime. Rose be Byrne. Like, Rose Byrne would be great. Right? She hasn't. I don't. Yeah, yeah. She needs to put on a little weight, but I mean, I, I'm sure she would gladly. She takes on a character role and does it so well, in my opinion. Well, now she needs to take on a Parker House role <laughs> yeah, and, and, and get into the Ida Garden. Who would you Grace, guess? let's pitch this. I Seriously, this is not the worst of all of our ridiculous ideas that we want to pitch on this podcast. I mean, <laughs> if, if fucking KFC is doing Lifetime movies, why mm. can't we be doing, you know what I mean? Right? Think, things are getting a little spicy on the true backstory of Michael Simon. <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever. I'm down. I'm totally uh, down. I love it. All right. We'll workshop this offline a bit. Every once in a while, you get lucky enough to find the one. The one that makes it easy. The one that makes it smooth. The one that doesn't irritate you at all. Obviously, I'm not talking about humans. I'm talking about razors, y'all. The Athena Club Razor, I mean, it's life-changing. It's expertly designed with the sharpest patented blades on the market. These one-of-a-kind blades are enhanced with a revolutionary water-activated serum that has both shea butter and hyaluronic acid for a skin-soothing shave with maximum hydration. I'm telling you, normally when I shave, it's like a total Russian roulette on if I am going to get irritated. But with Athena Club, I used it for the first time and it was a whole new world, like the type of shaves you see in a movie. So they've got razors, they've got shave foam, They've got dewy body lotion. They've got all the things to give you that silky, smooth, hair-free skin. Plus, the best part is the razor kit is only nine bucks, and that includes two five-blade razor heads, your choice of razor handle color, minus light blue, and a magnetic holder for easy storage. And you get new blades shipped regularly, so you never have to run out. There are few things as frustrating as about to shave your legs because you are hairy in the Hendersons and you're about to wear a skirt and then you realize you've got the handle but no razor heads? You don't got time to go to the, the pharmacy? No. Luckily, with Athena Club, they get shipped directly to your door. So stop using razors that under-deliver and switch to Athena Club, which actually does deliver. Sign up today and you'll get 20% off your first order. Just go to athenaclub.com and use promo code WEIRD. Once again, that's A-T-H-E-N-A-C-L-U-B.com with promo code WEIRD for 20% off. Go do it. Did you forget that one thing at the store? Well, now you can get snacks, drinks, and household essentials in 30 minutes with DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. And now you can get the grocery essentials that you need with DoorDash too. You can get drinks, you can get snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour. Ordering is easy. You open the DoorDash app, you choose what you want from where you want, 
and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos, or you can choose from favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. I have, in fact, ordered DoorDash from three out of three of those recommended places. So for a limited time, you guys can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code TMGW2021. That's 25% off up to $10 in value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code TMGW2021, TMGW2021. Don't forget that's code TMGW2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. You want to hear something cute? Speaking of eating. Yep. So, oh, okay. Well, okay. First of all, Mm -hmm. beans... Last week was eating grass quite a bit, but she was still Uh, eating all her food normal and her poop was normal. So I was like, I don't know what the deal is. Goose eats grass a lot. It's just out of anxiety. I think she just likes it. But this is a sidestep. I took her to the vet on Friday because I was like, Mm -hmm. "Uh, I don't know the last time she got blood work done. She's getting up there. So she Mm -hmm. got her like senior screening and they also do did blood work because I'm terrified. I was like, if something's going on that I can't see. Right. Like, you know. I need to know, like, what are those crumb? What are those platelets doing? Yeah, you know she's what an I mean? old lady, and she can't speak, so you can't know what's going on. Exactly. So it took her on Friday. I get home from getting hypothermia and dropping my sausage last night. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got all this weird gel in my hair so that it like looked wet yeah. in case it dried, <laughs> right? So I just come home looking like the fucking girl from the ring. Like, it was crazy. I was like, please, I really can't wreck with this sausage because, like, I've got blue under my eyes. Yeah, that's, like, the one time that I did, uh, I went to Clever TV and they dressed me up as Jason Nash and asked if I wanted yes. to get it taken off my face. And I said, no, no. I want to go home and shoot a video with this on. But the 40 minute drive home was the most stressful thing I've ever experienced. In my it's whole me life. driving home as Elf. We yeah, can all remember. Yeah. Exactly. So I I get home, uh, I shower, I get on my pajays, yeah. I get in bed early because I'm trying after a weekend of wine, which I'll tell you about at another time. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I need to take like four or five days off drinking. Good it's been, just been nonstop. Yeah. I got to do it. I took off one. I'm kind of craving a drink right now. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> when I, you get your brain to stop like sloshing around inside your skull, uh, then you're back to normal. It's just like, I'm thirsty. But so I'm in bed. I get a call from um, a number I don't have stored at 10 p.m. last night. Yeah. I answer and they're like, this memory heart. This is this memory marmory heart. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, and they go, oh, this is, you know, veterinary care center. You brought your dog beans in on Friday. I'm like, <gasps> yes, oh, 10 shit. p.m. And I'm like, uh, yeah. And they go, so you wanted us to just do like blood work, make sure everything's OK. Um, I just wanted to give you a call because she's fine. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. Why did you call me at 10 p.m. on a Friday? Yeah. I mean, on a Monday, on a Monday. <laughs> To tell me my dog like is good. Like my heart, like I was already looking at beans, like saying my goodbyes. Right. Like, yeah. Like this, uh, this crazy, was, mysterious, whatever it is, is going to take like, you over. I was like, everything has now changed at clock it. 10 p.m. Wow. Monday, March 8th. Who does that? Who calls wow. at 10 p.m. to give you good news? Look, I will. That is it's concerning however i will say that the los angeles like vet veterinary clinics have been so overrun like crazy because of covid that like i had to call and get goose she had like an ear infection i had to wait two weeks before i could bring her in that's how overbooked they were and it was why are they are are you saying it's because people didn't bring them for so long that now it's backlogged because why would like dogs need to go more because i think that it's one they're like covid protocols like we just slower uh, it's a slower system and like everyone yeah. has to be out in their cars and they have to come yeah. get the dogs and only like one person can come and go it's not like just kind of whatever the normal energy is however 
I feel like when it's, hey, your dog's totally fine, that should be a text to you. That's Thank just you. Like, <laughs> yeah. I absolutely <laughs> agree. Because that's the thing, too. Yeah. And that should be something that's like, she's all good. Here's our number if you want to call us to check on anything else. No. But... <laughs> he paced it out like deal or no deal. Like, <laughs> like, I don't even remember the vet's name specifically, but he was like, yeah. so you brought her in to Dr. Blah, 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 yeah. just to... See if everything's okay. I'm just sitting there like, what, what the fuck? Hey, give me the news. I need I, to figure out what kind of funeral, Viking funeral right? that Beans needs to have. Like, I need to know when, if we get, like, the sculpture carved of her as, right. a, like, a live like, model or off a picture. Is there still time to clone? Like, how many well, days does she it have It really left? put that into perspective. I got to get that DNA on ice, baby. But what's so funny, and I might have told you <laughs> For anyone who's like uh, OG YouTube, which if you are, make sure you're watching How You Been. Yes. First episode up with I, Justine. Another episode going up on Friday. Tim Um, told me that he watched it or listened to it and he thought it was so great. So yeah, go go listen to it, guys. I love that conversation with her. But Well, this isn't a guest, but Mm -hmm. I got to the vet and I pull into the parking lot, uh, you know, to then call them and say I'm there. And Olga K is stand is in the parking lot with two shibu inos with her with her leg out having them jump over back and forth <laughs> over <laughs> this is what i pulled up to was it's olga k doing a fucking circus tricks with two shibu inus in the parking lot. and like i could tell it was olga i couldn't hear her russian accent yet but she had on like a very like russian looking face mask yeah. and like i could tell the hair and i just rolled down my window and i go Olga K? And she goes, maybe heart twins beans. And she comes over. I guess she has a side business now of training dogs because that's wow. just something she can do. She's yeah. like, I take a dog and in two days I can teach it to like speak, sit, uh, paw and jump over my leg. Wow. I mean, all the hits. Those are all the things that you need at your. She was in the Eventually circus. when parties happen again. That's but it was be just, what you do. Right. It was just so funny. And she was wow. like, oh, I'm training these Shibu news for this guy who does Bitcoin. And he goes, are you invested in Bitcoin? And oh, I was no. like, what is happening? I'm like, no, I'm into Dogecoin. Sorry. Lol, right? lol, lol, lol. As That's- I'm here with my Doge. That's literally a Mad Libs. Like, that's a joke that we would write in a script about an internet moment that happened. A hundred percent. I was like, what if I was here being like, I'm here to say goodbye to my best friend. I know. And then I was like, hey, Olga K is just doing a full circus act in oh. the parking lot. It cracked my ass up. I love that. And also, I love, <laughs> Olga K has never not been on her own brand. And I appreciate that she's still making it happen. That oh way. yeah i've never partied with her and her not juggle oh yeah there's always and it's like it's always a olga will you juggle no yes i mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly it's great. when you can oh. juggle why wouldn't you mm-hmm. sorry i just told this long ass winded story just to say so, a very cute visual for you guys okay. and that is beans when she wants to eat grass she doesn't have any teeth so she starts. Oh, right. How does she do it? So she kind of just gums at it, which I think is like what they want anyway to get the juices, which I hear they don't even like. They shouldn't even. We shouldn't even let them eat grass, but I let her yeah. do it. But she started this one day gumming them and trying so hard <laughs> that by the time she got done, there was just a little patch of grass that were turned into like curly Q ribbons. <laughs> like when like when you take a ribbon and yeah. scrape a, like a scissor across yeah, it to yeah, make it yeah. curly. That's what Beans eating grass is. She just turns uh. the straight grass into curly Q ribbons. It was so cute. It was that so cute. So cute. I would also just be worried that she's going to choke on grass. But if all she's doing is making it curly, then that's great. She's just great. making it cute. She's she is, making I it mean, cute. That's what Beans is all about. Making stuff cute. Um... Have you seen, speaking of making stuff cute, croc balls? Yeah, they get text, they get yeah, tweeted at me does. every four seconds. Yeah, so they're on Etsy. They are, yeah, 3D okay. printed little nut sacks that you clip onto the back of your truck crocs, nuts. Yeah. All the truck nuts. Yeah. Um, I thought I they like were to think we had a part in that. Right? That's, uh, I think that's probably why it's getting sent to you. It's like, is this a cease and desist to tell people about? <laughs> well, granted, uh, Chip did his truck nut tricks. Yeah, but then we made our sweatshirts for each other, and I put yep. sweatshirt nuts on you. Oh wait, yeah, and you've also never opened the thing I sent to you when you were in Asheville. <laughs> I have it. I 
just find that whole box. I'm, oh I'm my gonna, god! I'll spoiler alert something. Okay. okay. There's a there's a, a nuts a pink nuts keychain. It's a keychain <gasps> with little like pink. They look really cute. Oh, very cute. graphic. Oh. Uh, yeah, so it's a bit much. Okay. But yeah, you should open. I'm trying. To I should open the is. gift you sent me in September. I also have to double check. There's nothing perishable in there, so no, I don't think so. Okay, I haven't smelled nothing stinky. Okay, that's good. That's good. At what question? At what yeah. point do we take? Like, I have my big ass um, like storage bin of non perishables for when like it, we were all in apocalypse mode, right? Of like not like this was when we didn't think we'd be able to go to the grocery store at all, right? Like, right. let alone like like they wouldn't be open. Yeah. At what this point? Is, uh, yeah, when I bought hundreds of uh, individually packed wet wipes because I thought toilet paper would never come back to shelves again. <laughs> we have so many wet wipes. I've never yeah. used that many wet wipes in my life. Uh huh. But no, like, so I've got all those kind of like dried pastas and things like that. At what point do we just all go take them to donate? I know that's to, like, a you problem. Uh, I, I, I just forgot I, I was even back there. I know. For, here's like, the months. Thing. That's a, a wonderful problem to have because it shows how uh, aligned you were with the actual problem that was happening in the world. Elliot and I don't have anything. We have truly okay. nothing uh prepared at all whatsoever uh yeah. so we have i don't have that problem <laughs> got it no we have full those dried ass food kits like you get in the army like we yeah. have everything the meals ready to eat mris and all those that's great mm -hmm. <laughs> well you can also start tapping into them save on your grocery bills every week i guess i'll probably donate it <laughs> or not what i sorry now i have pulled up on my thing just bobby flay wife uh <laughs> yeah cheating scandal my wife airplane and it's did uh, i make that up or did that really happen wait let me yeah it's bobby flay bobby she has a thing that says cheater on a banner on an airplane yes bobby Flay's isn't that savage but she denies responsibility for it uh mm -hmm. yeah. she loved drama she was on law and order ah that is true but can you also imagine if you didn't do that but it looks so obviously like you did. And you're like, why? I didn't do that. But also, I think it's great either way. I think we need to. Y'all should tweet at us and give us suggestions for the name of this original mm -hmm. bio series that we need to pitch to Food Network. Yeah, uh, I, that would be great. I think this is incredibly viable. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm still behind farts and jars. But uh, I think this might be a more sellable option for us. You think this is better than jar our jar dripping farts. off charts? Charts. Yeah. All right, I'm down. You know what? We gotta. We'll it's 2021. We gotta learn to pivot. We gotta do the things we didn't think we'd be doing. That's very true. Very true. Well, speaking of pivoting, <gasps> you are in a hotel room. Yeah, I gotta go get myself some dinner. Midnight. You gotta go get another <laughs> Luna bar, um, oh. guys. We have another episode of How You Been going up yes. this Friday. Who should we put up? We have a couple banked. We, we do Scott? We'll have to, maybe Scott. That would be <gasps> nice. Scott Hoying of Pentatonics and so many other things. And maybe Super the Fruit. One, yeah. Uh, his All the conversations have been so lovely. So wonderful. And just keep in mind, every Friday, they will be available to watch on YouTube, to listen in the feed where you hear our podcast normally. Um, and there's only 10 episodes that we're doing. So it is a limited series. So if you hate it, clogging your feed there will be only 10 episodes and if you exactly. love it i'm sorry there's only 10 episodes there we go grace yeah. congrats on the dick pic thank um, you um i'll let you know if anything goes awry <laughs> with this because now i feel a bit vulnerable um and maybe i'll post for anyone curious no i do i post this on our patreon or is that like mean i feel well, like that i don't know if that is that okay is it like do I, I don't do know, like warning? revenge porn. If you're posting someone's dick pic, yeah, you can't post his dick, no, but you could blur it. You could blur it. It's not. It's not really <laughs> worth it. You guys can get exactly what has gone down. Go get a Johnsonville brat, <laughs> yeah, and exactly. smash it. <laughs> Just smash Just it in a shopping cart with like a, a bag of flour. <laughs> Put it in a vice of your hands for a bit and then just like <laughs> now let it try and sit upright. <laughs> now let it slowly go back to normal. That's what got said. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a chicken broth. Okay, okay. Um this got weird. Yep. <laughs>